What's going on, guys? I am Jace Machine. This is StarMade on the Star Squadron survival server. I hope you guys are doing well, especially after what I've just gotten over. Oh, my goodness. I had, uh, I had a bout of the flu, pretty much. And uh, it, was, it was pretty much the worst 10, 11, 12 days of this year, for sure. So, I didn't even have any strength to do anything on YouTube. I let a lot of comments get unanswered for a few days. And I did not do any videos for a number of days. And uh, so now we are hopefully back on schedule, or I'd like to get back on schedule. A new feature has come out during this time period as a new update has been released. It's the, uh, the teleportation module feature. So we're going to put teleportation stuff into this space station today. And that is the main goal. Also, there has been a change graphically to a lot of the different blocks around. This is the faction block. Look at it. It is so much more detailed now. It actually has like computer readout stuff. It is fascinating. I like it. A lot of blocks have gotten the overhaul, actually. Check this out. This is... I don't even know what this is. Is this a store? I don't recognize that block. Um, anything changed in my quarters? No. How about the factories? Standard. Basic. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it a lot, guys. That looks really nice. Everything looks a lot sharper, like the uh, the graphics right here for the chest, for in fact, look pretty sharp. I can ogle and goggle this stuff all day, but I really need to check out what what is needed for this teleportation thing. So let's look through the change production, teleport, I don't even know what it's called. Transporter? Yes, transporter controller and transporter modules. So what do we need to make one of these? Can we make, let's see. Seem to be missing a key ingredient. Massive and Knox. My little notebook says that I can get both Masset and Knox at the same location. We're going to be heading to a Varus asteroid and mining that so we can build up some uh, teleportation stuff. And also while I'm here, before I run along, let's look up the transporter modules and see if they're made of the same stuff. Transporter modules. Knox and Masset. All right, we're just going to need a whole buttload of that stuff. I'll see you guys at the ship. All right, let's sit comfortably here. See, look at the uh, the graphics down here in the hot bar as well. Each of these is a lot sharper than it used to be. This is beautiful. It's beautiful, man. It truly is, though. I love it. love the progression this game is making. While we are taking this moment to charge up the jump drive for this one last bit over to this mining planet, I want to got, let you guys know that the Star Squadron members have started a Star Squadron faction on the Shattered Sky server. So if you guys are interested in playing Star Maid with us, uh, you guys can go check out the server address. I'm going to put it on the screen 
and I'm also going to put it down in the description uh, as well. Uh, this is a public server. Uh, it is a PvP server, so it is a dangerous place if you're not careful. When you load in for the first time, be sure to read the rules. Star Squadron does not run the Shattered Skies server. That is the guys over at the Star Side channel, Raven, and Dalmont, and uh, Saber, and those guys. So if you're interested, we can get you involved in our faction specifically. Um, if you are, leave your in-game name in the comments section below, and um, pretty much the only way you can get into the faction is by being a regular commenter. You guys know who you are. Uh, I could probably name a handful of you guys off the top of my head, and the guys who are regular commenters who are always leaving comments and talking and, and causing dis uh, you know, discussion, um, you guys, uh, you know, I know you, so you guys will be able to get into the faction, uh, no problem. If this is the first time you are commenting, um, I welcome you to comment some more, uh, get to know me a little bit, and uh, if you seem like you're an alright person, we'll certainly get you into the faction. So I think that's pretty much good enough informations for the time being. There should be a cake around here, by the way. Um, if anything else comes up news-wise, I will let you know. Again, if you're interested in playing on that server, check the description below. There we go. The happy birthday, Jace Cake. Made by our friend Sven the Slayer. The current mission objective is to figure out what happened to our signature. Flashlight looks like night's coming. And I remember sticking it in a cave somewhere along the side of this outcrop here. Ah. done our due diligence here. Any mining done in this sector, I mean this system will now be bonafide and bonusized. <laughs> There we go. Mission accomplished. Now we can go and mine to our little heart's content. Check our sensors. We're looking for the Nox and Massic asteroid. Boom. Is that it right here? Yep, that's it. Booyah. Why, hello there, yummy, yummy Varus Rock. I'm so pleased to see you. of it. Let's take our bounty back home. Now what I want to do is I want to make a new docking area so that people can come by and visit legitimately. I don't have to worry about setting up things. But I also want it to have a teleporter in it that can transmit the uh, astronaut from inside that part of the station into the main part of the station. So let's see if we can uh, get into that. Um, Grab 
of those out and head on back into my factory where I'm gonna make all this stuff. these pretties into here. Oops. There we go. Toss this extra crap in there as well. Alright, do your thing. Thing. Meantime, let's go back to making these transporters. I think I need two computers. One for each station. Transport it with Jason Statham. All right, now one of these guys. Can we activate this? Not quite yet. We're still waiting on it to produce some more mass. It apparently. Yeah. So we're just gonna chillax here for a moment. See how that comes out. Might as well just activate this and watch it as it increases. Now I forget that that's weird and creepy. Let's turn this off. We're going to be a little bit more productive. Let's hop into this build block. And let's determine where we want to have this parking. Gosh, parking stuff. I left this thing on, or if there's any hull in here, but we're going to be needing some. Yes. Fantastic. We have plenty of hull. Okay, so we want people to come in and park. Uh, do we want it above this area? I think that I do. So I think I'm going to end up making this area right here turn out to be oops. let's do it from outside that way we don't have all that inside distraction I've built this little teleportation chamber and we're gonna go up here to where I started a platform and this is where we're going to make a donut of sorts and it's going to contain a bunch of docks so people can come and dock their ships as long as they have that USD style dock
So let's see how our production of this stuff is coming along. <clears throat> Alright, it's going to take roughly forever, so let's go to a shop and take care of this the old-fashioned way. We are now going to see about installing these guys. So for the first one, let's stick it here and see if we can face it upwards. And then let's stick it here. Alright, so now we're gonna connect these guys to these guys, I believe, right? So we got that one in place, and let's go install a second one and see if we can link just these two up. So I don't want any of those connected to my previous computer. And I'm going to put the new computer right in here. Highlight, right? So let's see, we're going to change the name of this transporter. This is Docking Hub. seemed to work. Let's go to the other one and see if that one can be made active. So let's go into this guy here. We're going to change the name. This is going to be the main transporter room, so we're just going to call it main. We'll give it faction access and we'll activate it. Hopefully we won't get dematerialized and sent into the sun with our particles. Very pretty there. All right, so we're gonna stand right there. We can access this here. Oh, here we go. So we can select destination there, docking hub. but it did something wrong, clearly. Yep, all right, cool. So let's pull this extra crap out of here, because we know we don't need it. Anyone that you can stand on and then reach the computer, you can use, right? Yep. Oh, wow, that's even easier than I thought. That is an awesome feature. Let's see, this should be just as simple to do. So let's, where do we want to go? Docking hub, main shipyard. Let's go to the main, set destination, and activate. Oh, that's awesome. Super, super, super awesome. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I enjoyed working on it. We learned something new and awesome today. And it was a lot easier than I expected it to be. However, we did have to go and search a little bit to get the parts for it. We didn't have everything we needed right up front. So a little bit of an average sort of goose chase in the world of uh, Jace Machine and Sandbox games. But there you go. 
Guys, I'm sorry I was gone for so long. I hope that I am well uh, for the foreseeable future and can continue to put out the star made content that you guys want to see. And uh, like I said earlier in the episode, check out the Shattered Skies server and uh, look for the Star Squadron faction. If you're interested in joining the faction, let me know in the comments section and be a regular commenter and thumbs up person on our channels. That is the best way to get into our faction. Otherwise, we'll just have to see how it goes. Anyway, guys, I love you all. I hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you next time.